City and Guilds Technical Qualifications Teacher Assessed Grades or TAGS Overview of the TAG process in 2021 The information in this presentation applies to City and Guilds approved centres and is one of a range of presentations designed to support heads of centre, heads of department, tutors and other centre staff using TAGS in 2021. Additional guidance on the submission process and our external quality assurance requirements will be issued in due course. Ofqual has put in place a new regulatory framework, the VTQ Contingency and Regulatory Framework or VCRF. The framework covers certificating and non-certificating students who are expecting to take assessments between the 1st of August 2020 and the 31st of August 2021. The VCRF allows awarding organisations to issue results via alternative arrangements when an exam did not take place and or when students cannot complete all internal assessment. This includes issuing results based on teachers' judgments of students' performance to be referred to as teacher assessed grades or TAGs. City and Guilds is fully committed to supporting centres in implementing these alternative arrangements to ensure that eligible students impacted by the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic can achieve their results. Sector specific adaptations have been put in place to assist centres in using the synoptic assignments to determine evidence for TAGs. Updated synoptic assignments are available on the qualification specific web pages. These include additional guidance on specific adaptations and where they apply. To find these, go to the qualification web page, click on the documents tab, and locate the relevant assessment drop down menu. You'll find the permitted adaptations within the task instructions for centres section within each synoptic assignment pack. For technical qualifications, results days will align to the dates for general qualifications, A-levels and GCSEs, providing tags and evidence is submitted by the published deadline of the 18th of June. Level 3 results will be made available to centres on Walled Garden on Monday the 9th of August and can be released to students on Tuesday the 10th of August. Level 2 results will be made available to centres on Walled Garden on Wednesday the 11th of August and can be released to students on Thursday the 12th of August. Tags submitted after the 18th of June deadline will be processed but results will not be released in time for the published dates. We aim to process any tags submitted after the 18th of June within 32 working days of a correct submission, however this may not always be possible. Timeline of key dates has been drawn up and is explained in detail in a separate presentation. A copy can also be found on our website. Go to the COVID-19 page and select Technical Qualifications. There are six steps in the TAG process. Step 1. Initial review. Identify the teaching, learning and assessment that needs to take place for each student. Step 2. Collect evidence. Centres must collect evidence of student performance to support the determination of TAGs. Step 3. Evaluate the quality of evidence. Centres must consider the quality and subsequent weighting of evidence. Step 4. Assign grades. When sufficient evidence has been gathered and evaluated, tutors will be asked to make a judgement of each student's performance based on the range of evidence. Step 5. Internal quality assurance. Centres must ensure that tags are subject to internal quality assurance. They must also be signed off by the head of centre. Step 6. Submission to City and Guilds. A sample of evidence will be required for the exam and synoptic assignment and will provide more detail on this process in due course.
Our quality team is here to support you throughout the process. They can be contacted via email on technicals.quality at or by telephone on 0300 303 5352. Lines are currently open Monday to Friday, 8.30 till 12.30 and 1.30 till 5.00.